Neelam Maheshwari is Director of Grant Making and Partnership Programs at the Desh Pandey Foundation and she joins me today. Neelam, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. For all of the stakeholders in, in this space which encompasses social enterprises, impact investors, development finance uh, institutions and foundations like yours, uh, describe to us the mandate of the Desh Pandey Foundation. So Desh Pandey Foundation in India is basically creating an ecosystem and that's doing it purposely in a two-tier city like Hubli and uh, basically the idea is that it is ecosystem invites specifically people with ideas that are transformational and that kind of relevant to the one-third of India which lives in poor uh, background or rural areas or peri-urban regions. So that is the mandate. We want many more ideas to flourish that are relevant to, uh, you know, so-called bottom of the pyramid and that are able to sustain in the foreseeable future. And you're focusing on one geography? We are focusing on one geography. So, you know, what, will, what, what, what happens next? Will you, based on the learnings of uh, Hubli, will you then be um, having a larger footprint across India? What right. is the game plan? Right. So, so Mani, you can think of us like uh, Silicon Valley for socially relevant ideas. So our sense is that, you know, there are a lot of ideas out there, but not each idea get its chance to prove it on the ground whether it works or not. So Hubli becomes the hotbed. Hotbed. And then our expansion would really mean that how many of these ideas get out of sandbox and then reach out to people not in India but in other geographies like India. So we actually have a lot of successes already so far where the companies who were born in sandbox or non-profit programs who were born in sandbox are now expanding, not just the state but the rest of the India. But on another question, the sandbox approach itself means that we would, uh, we are we are, because it's an ecosystem, we have to keep it dense. The confined geography means there is more control, more, uh, you know, we are able to avoid a lot of externalities. In that sense, this is the science of, yeah. and the thing which works here is that because it is located in Hubli, it's kind of wedded to the, jog the context of that area, right? The people, the problem people are facing in North Karnataka. Now, if we were to expand sandbox, then it, ha it has to replicate as it is. Mm. So, for instance, if we were to take this sandbox and take it to Bihar or Urissa, then it has to become a sandbox of Urissa. True. In that sense, then the same principles will follow and the innovators would come and connect with the issues that are relevant there. True. So, uh, okay. Right. Um, you know, when you say ecosystem, right. I'm curious to say what do you include in ecosystem? ecosystem. I mean, what do you mean? Uh, when you say ecosystem. So give us some concrete examples. Right. Uh, you know, we have seen in the last six years this roadmap from idea to proof of concept. And we are a big, uh, big, uh, we are very big on, we believe, big believer on proof of concept. We said ideas are ideas until the critical number of people start using this idea in their daily life. So we, we figured that this roadmap isn't simple and that person not only needs money, it also need a network, be a uh, people like himself or herself who are doing the same things, exchanging ideas, sharing, exchanging ideas, you know, sharing solutions, exactly, and, and partnering of, on solutions, and a lot of mentorship. Mm. You know, like in the Sankalpa summit, you see there there's an energy there. Yes, you know, there are like-minded people, and just by that, a lot of people get inspired. A lot of people. So this is what we are trying to do it all the time, every day in a physical, you know, uh, uh, space. This is what the idea is. And we have had many of examples, like Akshay Patra is our big one. Yes. Largest kitchen in Asia, which provides midday meal to 1.3 kids at 8 rupees per meal, is in Hubli. Mm. So it cannot happen until you focus that kind of energy. Then we have Agastya International Foundation, where uh, they have this idea to spark curiosity among little kids mm. through three-dimensional science models. When they started working with us, uh, they were in Bangalore. So I think what we do, I mean, on a separate note, that's just bringing the focus back to two tire cities. You know, you can be very successful in Bangalore. But it's very different when you're... Right. So our one contribution has been getting focus back into the two tire city-like places. So, I guess the International Foundation begins with 200 schools 
and today they are touching 1.3 million children and in this journey it, it wasn't just implementing every day we are asking them question can we bring this cost down because you can't scale until mm. you're it's a complex model it's expensive model it wouldn't scale so how do you bring the cost down can you become more efficient is there a way we create a lot of local leaders who can accept it is there a way community can pay for it mm. can we tweak this idea so from a science model which used to get created in Bangalore and then come to a rural village now they have reached to a point where our school itself creates its lab in less than I know three rupees because you know they've come up with a lot of processes and so on and so forth so in, in and, and there are a lot of for-profit companies who had very interesting ideas such as uh, so you don't make that for-profit and not for no, profit we don't. distinction we don't because it, no. you're saying it's it's sort of irrelevant to uh, the work as long as the work is being My done the impact is being felt I think socially relevant ideas until they are self-sustainable uh, they wouldn't go too far until you know uh, so we have a very strong belief in uh, making anything we do sustainable and it happens in three ways either it mainstreams in the free market economy or there is enough demand in the community in a considerable time yes. you don't expect it to happen in six months one year it could take four years five years or finally if state or government itself accepts it so in all these three forms we have seen uh, and we lay this out pretty clearly with our partners and they understand it that okay we are there but then there will be a point then you can just take off from there. Take off from there. Neela Maheshwari thanks very much for your time been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much.